Like, yeah, that, that was hilarious because we went to your friend's house and my dad, looking like he does, he looks like an actual like Lord of the Rings dwarf with the big beard yeah. and stuff. <laughs> He's been called a hobbit by a drunk guy. He's like, yeah, the- <laughs> that guy like just like fucking doesn't even, he like has a like, cursory like understanding of like fantasy stuff so he just says hobbit. He's yeah, like, exactly. He doesn't know. It's so funny because it's been around for like fucking centuries. That guy was so drunk and homophobic it was hilarious. Because like, we, we, we have gotten on the subject. Is he called, is he called no, no. people? I, I, I'm getting there. Okay. Uh, <laughs> they had gotten... He had gotten on the subject of homosexuality, and he's like, oh no, that's just like... I was like, oh boy. And then he was like... <laughs> then he's like... Then he was like trying to be real deep and talk about like a nuclear bomb and stuff. What? And then he's like, what? you can serve... Well, he was... He like got on a bunch of tangents he, that got away from all of us, really. Oh, okay, okay. And he was just trying to be interesting and cool or something. Okay. And he's like... And I was... And then I, I started like kind of fucking with him because that's what I do with people like that. Well, I mean, that's what I fucking do. And, uh, and then he said, wait, listen, you might survive homosexuality, <laughs> but you can't survive a nuclear bomb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you might survive. <laughs> Can you imagine, like, the fucking Terminator theme playing as he gets, like, kissed on the cheek by another dude? <laughs> like, like, some guy just walks up, he's like, you know what, you're beautiful, man. Oh, oh. I think I might have done a skit. Oh, okay. There are some, uh, there, there are some secrets and, like, some special... No, I think I went backwards. Uh, Maybe not? Maybe so. Well, it tells you if you go backwards. It'll, Who it, knows? Uh, Uka, Uka no, gets in the face and he goes like, wrong way. Well, wrong I, way. I think wrong I already way. like did go backwards. Oh. And so now I'm going forwards from backwards. Okay. Or maybe I didn't? I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> I don't! Shit. Shit. I hit a bread potion. I fucking hate this. Oh, I, I, I probably placed that. I hate I put, I put a TNT somewhere on a curve. It was a real asshole move, which is... I, when I used to play this game, what I would do is I would throw a TNT down the second I hit the box. So, like, it's like... Oh, okay. oh it's like... So it looks like a box. It's, yeah, it looks like a box, but, like, the thing is, this game is, like, is too smart for that, because, like, like, it always drops it behind your cart relative to where you are, so it doesn't, it doesn't do that thing anymore, because, like, what happened was it would clip through the box, and you'd have this weird-looking, like... Double box? Yeah, but it would, but like the textures would fight a little, but not enough for you to notice because it's a PS1 game. Yeah. yeah. So you couldn't trust your eyes, so you would run into the TNT crate getting an item all the time. And I would do that. I would be. I was a master at that, and I can't do it anymore because because like it always falls right in front of it now. It doesn't fall on it. Which is oh, a bummer. Shit. I think that was the same green potion I dropped. I think I ran into my own thing. Hey, that'll, 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 that'll happen. I placed. With, that'll happen with, with kart racers. Fuck yeah! You it's all of us. Fuck yeah. yeah, we did it. We're getting good at this. We're, we're playing the video game. Homosexuality <laughs> has a ninety-seven percent survival rate. Yeah. <laughs> when you put it like that, it's just like, man, it's worth the risk. Well, like. <laughs> <laughs> Look, dun, 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 dun. if you had one shot. To kiss another dude. I'm gonna do this one. This is fucking cool shit. I like Would you this. Go for it. I haven't actually got to play the stage. It was on. It, we were, I was allowed to vote for it in, in one match, and it was like, and everybody voted for this other fucking map that, that I've played a million times. And I was like, fuck off. Like, I wanna play the new one. Oh, you can shoot the okay. Like, um, I like it when the development of Crash Bandicoot because like the camera was behind Crash. They call it the Sonic's ass game because his ass had like little little spines and it was thick like Sonic. Oh, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> That's good energy. <laughs> Fuck you. Man. Oh yeah, at a con I was just at, I drew some. I, I, I was some, some, some sweet Sonic hentai. I did draw some sweet Sonic hentai. I was. Did you put on a rule? I was horse, rather like, high, oh, and I drew a uh, Vixen the Hedgehog. So Vixen the Hedgehog is hot. I fucking came buckets. Yeah. 
I mean, how could you, you not? Should, you shouldn't be ashamed of your, of your art, dude. I you never said I was ashamed. Yeah, whoa, no, <laughs> hey, you, hey, man, I was... You're the only one talking about shame here. <laughs> hey, hey, I've known a lot of people who draw a lot of Sonic porn, and I want to make sure that you're not ashamed of it. Is that... Does that happen a lot? Not really. To people who draw Sonic porn? No. Do they feel shame often? Probably. Maybe. I know some people who do and they fucking like, not, like not like Sonic porn, just like fucking they draw stuff for people. And they fucking, they do kind of hate it when they like get paid a lot for something that's like, I don't want to draw this, but like whatever, I guess you're paying me a lot. Oh, gotcha. Like, that does happen. Like that goofy with barf all over his dick? <laughs> or or God, was, who was it from the fucking Spyro thing where it was like Hunter like fucking like pooping a big log? Yeah! In that fucking sub sandwich? sandwich? Yeah, yeah, and like Spyro's just looking at it like, hell no. Nah. That's, That's not enough like, meat for this sandwich. This guy ordered enough extra meat for this sandwich. What about Nasty Nork? Oh, it's, it's like, it's like, I like your Spyro's like really fucking like. Hello, me. It's, like, me. it's just Dave Mustaine Spyro. Yeah. Oh shit. I was like Spyro sounds more like, hey guys, it's me. Like, no, no, like in, in the first one. No, that's what he sounded like. He sounded no, like in that. the in the first one on the PS One. He did not sound like that. I will play the tape back. No, he didn't. But he not. was like, what about Nasty Nork? He, and he, he sounded... He wasn't that raspy. No, though. it wasn't that raspy, but he was ras... He's... He doesn't sound like he does now. Because, like, like, his voice wasn't, like, smooth, but it wasn't, like, that raspy. Like, he sounded... He, his, his line reads were really dorky, but I don't think he sounded like that. <laughs> I mean, when I actually play the clip and prove me wrong, I know you're sitting here sneaking me. I just remember, and like, I remember me and uh, Gary at that one party, like, laughing about it. So, so I feel like he remembers it, and I feel vindicated on that. No, it's, alone. it's fine. <laughs> I just don't remember him sounding like that. After this race, uh, I gotta, I gotta find out. I, I gotta know if that's just something that my brain. I mean, I mean, maybe I don't know. Like, I don't fuck it. Like, I like I. I there's some doubt there because I. I don't. I. I played the newer one and I. I watched some stuff from the uh, older games, but I. It's been a while since I looked it up. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Who knows? You I don't know. need to live your own justice. That sounds like radical talk, there, buddy. Am I gonna have to call a U.S. drone to come in here and poke you? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I expect from a U.S. president. <laughs> Any one of them. It doesn't matter which one. <laughs> I expect I them to take to the streets in their giant mecha and destroy wantonly all over the place. Fine. It like becomes like a fucking new amendment that the president's like brain has to be removed and put into an NRA robot. <laughs> an NRA robot. It's the only kind of robot that I'll ever pilot. It's just like it's just like a fucking <laughs> mech that just has this fucking shit tons of guns and they're just like this is for the president's protection and safety. If you had a problem, I'm a car carrying member own. of the NRA. The car is made out of recycled gun meat. <laughs> recycled gun meat. <laughs> and if you don't love my giant Gundam, then you can leave my giant Gundam. <laughs> I like how in Gundam, every single time people are like, we're winning the battle and a Gundam shows up, it's just like, no, nah, you're not, dude. Gundam is here. <laughs> Do any of you guys have Gundams? No? Alright, no. We're gonna... <laughs> it's too fucking... It's not it's, gonna happen. It's like a tank, but it's infantry. It's fucking crazy. Like, it's like, an infantry tank. Because, like, in Gundam, there's a bunch of other mobile suits, but, like, the Gundam is, like, just 100% better than every other mobile suit. Yeah. It's like, if you have the choice of having an entire army or just one Gundam and like, a teenager, you're gonna win. If you just pick that teenager and that Gundam. <laughs> yeah. Yo, Shinji, get in the robot. Your dad loves you, get in the robot. The That's cockpit's too small for a grown-up kid. So, but your robot. <laughs>
think I'm gonna get six here. I don't think I can. I think I'm gonna get eight. I think Nathan's in first, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. Hey, finish. How's that feel? Do you feel like James you feels good. James is in first. Yeah. James is unbeatable at video games. <laughs> He's after Nathan died <laughs> yeah. from being too good at video games. Really okay, so Nasty Nork. <laughs> Let's I know about Nasty Nork. I know what he sounds like. No, no, no. Uh, the, the Spyro... Yeah, show me the Spyro clip, because like, I don't remember him sounding quite as like... Like that. He was voiced by the guy who voiced Rocco in the first game. Yeah, he was. Okay. Is that Tom Kenny? Because Tom Kenny voices him later. I don't know if that's a... It's actually, yeah, uh, kind of Thompson. Yeah. Spongebob is Tom Kenny, and then, like, everyone in every cartoon is Tom Kenny also. Oh, okay. Alright. Here. Here's a comparison video here. Here's some anime stuff. Nah, you're right. Yeah. Of course, I certainly wouldn't want to spend the rest of my dragon days butting heads with Nasty Morgan as weird minions. Nasty Morgan. Never mind. Nasty Morgan is weird. So it's not nearly as bad as I was making it. Yeah, because like when you, the way you were, well, the way you were making it sound, it sounded way, like I was like I would have remembered that shit. But like, but like <laughs> his first line. Definitely, he flubbed that a little bit. He was like, he was putting a little bit too much on. Um, I, I don't know, if I would say flubbed, but he definitely was like trying to find the voice and he put like way too much like lisp in it. Yeah. It's really lispy than the, uh, than the later ones. Okay. Like, he definitely like kind of sounds like he's got like a. Uh, what's his name? Sylvester. Yeah. At, like. Fucking sucker and succotash thing going on. <laughs> Suck my fucking succotash. Suffer my succotash, you fucking Suffer slut. not one succotash to suffer, live. Suffer not one succotash. <laughs> Let's go to the jungle boogie. How can you ignore the greater good? Do you want to do medium now or do you want to keep doing easy? Um, whatever. Or we could do no AI and just let this us racing. Oh shit. You want to do that? I don't you think want? the stakes have ever been higher. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm just asking if you want it's I'm, time. Actually, I'm it's not final destination, like, no items. It's tough. We're gonna find out. Who is the ultimate crash team racer? <laughs> I don't fucking know. If I, I don't know. I think James has this in the bag. <laughs> probably fucking does. Also, he said he PM like uh, Schlag said that he PM'd me a new creepypasta, but I don't know how to check that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I on Twitch or like on uh, like a I think it was a Twitch DM, and I don't know how those work. Oh, uh, you can I'm... you can go and that's they're they're um yeah because I did look thing. yeah I, I I think I know where those are I just I gotta look at it though. I'm I'm coming around on on calling them DMs. Because it's real talk, because, because they're yeah. not private. Yeah, they're not. Yeah. They're just direct messages. Oops. I bumped All of my attempts to bomb my friends have failed. Yeah. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Sounds same like someone's got a US complex over here. <laughs> I'm trying to bomb my friends, but I can't do that it. That was pretty pointed, man. That's pretty pointed, dude. Gives a shit, man. Let's just say whatever. <laughs> is it poignant or is it just pointy ant? It's poignant. There, I bombed my friend successfully. Damn it. Damn. It. I don't appreciate being that friend. <laughs> I mean, I was all for it when you said you were bombing your friends, but now that I'm the friend, this is some. This is some old, shit. This is some baby back bullshit. It's trying to call it. Uh, missile, no. Okay, missile didn't hit me. Sweet. I really didn't want to hit by a game by a missile today, dude. Well, I'm sorry. I'm bombing my friends today. That's no! Oh, uh, whoa! whoa! Jinx, you owe me a romp of fruit. <laughs> Ow. Somebody got the board. I did. 
It pays to be in last place. I don't know what that thing is called. It's like from one of the games. Cortex Core. Something like Well, no, I, I'm... <laughs> I just tech and juggled you. Yeah, shit! I'm hoaring over here. Oh, oh that was the orb! Fuck, I thought it was a missile. I wasted my potion. Nice try. Damn. Damn. <laughs> he said the thing! <laughs> he said the lie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you want to keep doing just us, or you want to keep the AI on, or what? What? Oh. I don't know, it doesn't matter, I don't care. Yeah. I'm having a great time regardless. Let's do a hard AI in this one. Good. Let's make, oh, this, impo let's make this impossible for all of us. Alright. I don't even know this course very well. James's confidence is shaking. <laughs> <laughs> I like how my name was the only one that was got right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just like Pat, of course. He's the guy who makes everything weird. <laughs> He's the guy who makes everything weird. Not not you. No, no. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, I'm I'm the one that I am quite a character though, with like the Chinese coin and the ruining of my life to do this shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, the stuff, the, the lengths you're willing to go, like the obsession that you have in your heart, yeah. is really like a you core do. component of your soul. That, You've reached that level of obsession. <laughs> you can grab that I tag. Can grab that tag. Oh my I'm a core gamer. There's that level of obsession that I think you need before you can grab that tag. God, that, the obsession thing reminds me of the fucking like Amazon bullshit. You see the thing that they said where they're just like, we're not, we're not about starting unions. We're about keeping customer obsession. Oh, did yeah. you, you hear about that shit? Damn. Yeah. That's fucking hate them so fucking much. Yeah. Destroy. Get your shit together, Jeff Bezos. <laughs> he he does have that. his shit together. He won't let anybody else have any shit. Yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> That's like the thing is no, like I thought it was Jeff Bezos that had the the relationship with Grimes, but I guess that was Grimes? Elon Musk. Who's Grimes? Uh, uh, she's like this uh pop singer. Oh, okay. uh, kind of like, just kind of Britney Spearsy, but more techno. Okay. So we don't know what it really oh. what it is unless it's robot. What? Yeah, the trap door there just to fuck you over. Okay. I do remember that now. Huh? Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> you can title this Pat's ass destroyed by. Pat's ass was destroyed by by big neural big net. <laughs> Ow! Fuck <laughs> neural net. By neural net. Oh man! Oh, when I was at that convention, Chuck Tingle was there. Was Chuck Tingle? In? Uh, pounded in the butt by the socioeconomic implications of England leaving the European Union. He's the guy who wrote that book. Oh okay. Oh oh. Okay, I remember. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And man, that was insane. That panel, he was. Oh my god, that guy is great. <laughs> yeah, Chuck Tingle apparently is a fucking hero. Yeah. That's I never movie. would have thought the guy who wrote "Pounded in the Butt" by my but, own butt by my own butt <laughs> is fuck you is uh is actually just fantastic as a human being. You never know. This but, was, you can't judge a man by what the stuff he creates, you know. But the stuff he creates is really like like that. Like not just in the oh, really? <laughs> Like it's it's actually very meaningful from the heart stuff. Yeah. And it's what it's called title. like the stupidest shit. Well, I mean that's smart though, because then you're gonna buy it because you're gonna because like, you're no one's gonna buy something that like just seems like another motivational book. Like, like, you put it in a really silly title lapped. on it. I've never been lapped before in this game. We never played it before, really, you said. Yeah. This is day one. No DLC. <laughs> dude, you don't have any patches loaded, dude. I'm just gonna hit you with some gamer talk so we can really relate. I can... Well, 
I mean, we're doing as we expected. Six, seven, eight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> By a large margin. <laughs> yeah. The yeah. We might as well not even have the AI on. <laughs> Honestly. Shit. 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 Is this a German sausage? Because this is the worst. Damn. God, oh my god, I keep driving into gears. Every single time I, I fucking... Keep, oh my god. ...fall into the trap Fuck door. it. Who cares? Who cares at this point? I don't even think the trap door is, like, open all the time. But I just... I just always fall into it. It opens if you drive over it, I'm pretty sure. Um, I think. I could be wrong about that. Oh. I don't think that's. I don't think that's quite right. <laughs> there was, was one where it was like pounded in the butt by my own hot take. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really. Or, or it was like the physical manifestation of my own hot take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> that's one I really want to read. <laughs> I went, uh, oh yeah, when I went to see Alone on the Island, yeah. I got the one of the writers from the Chappelle show, I don't remember his name, he, he did stand up at, at like first up, I got fucking hilarious. Like, awesome. like, holy shit, like, every single fucking joke he had, like, like they, st they straight up said, like, there's no recording during the show until, like, they start doing songs that, that people have heard already, and I was just like, I really wish I could have recorded this shit, this is fucking incredible. <laughs> like, all he did was just, like, basically bitch about the state of the world right now and it's just like <laughs> god damn it's fucking great i don't remember all of his jokes and i don't want to like fucking do his jokes but holy shit no oh, i didn't know grimes was 17 that makes elon musk creepy he is creepy oh it's like it's Put like that one on the list of things he is he's he's, he's not the best like <laughs> <laughs> so, not all of Chuck Tingle's books start with Pounded in the Butt, because um, I do know he also wrote um, Billionaire Dinosaur Forced Me Gay. <laughs> uh, Norm is saying a couple of them, which I assume are real, probably are. Uh, turned gay by the existential dread from being a character in a Chuck Tingle novel. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty fucking good. But yeah, we, we met that guy, and, and we got some stuff signed by him. There was a, uh, um, there was at the concert like the like the the stand up was pretty good, but then there was a fucking um, the songs are a lot different on stage. They didn't want a shit that was just not like in any of the like music videos or anything. They like fucking like that one song where the, the semicolon song. There's a part where they just start chanting Alf when you get to the Alf thing, <laughs> and it and it had an image of Alf that got more deep fried the more they said Alf, <laughs> and it was huge. It was a huge screen. And it gets closer to you, and eventually they just like change another song. That's saying anything. <laughs> and then, like multiple times during multiple different songs, Alf would fucking come back and just like be like incredibly more deep deep fried. No reference to him. And sometimes he's at the end song, they're just in the middle of him, whenever. <laughs> and there's also a part where they they uh, they threw like three T-shirts out in the crowd, right? Yeah. And this is my favorite part that they did during the show. They fucking. They threw these t-shirts out in the crowd, and the, after they threw all the t-shirts out, they said, we only had two sizes in stock, uh, quadruple X and baby onesie. <laughs> and they also didn't get their prints on the shirt that they wanted, so there's blank tees. <laughs> and then they handed out markers, like Sharpie markers, into the crowd to get to put graphics on them with the Sharpie mark. <laughs> and then while they're doing that, they just went on and explained and showed everybody what the image was. And I'm, I'm gonna explain this image because explaining this image kind of ruins the joke because it's like way funnier to see it. And then they explained the image and it got worse. <laughs> so the image, just blank head on, was a picture of Hitler holding a bowl of soup with like a, 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 like a horn or something in it. Okay, whatever. Come on. Here's, here's, what, here's why it was that. Right. Because it, the bowl was miso soup. And he had a horn in it because miso horny. Uh. Yes! <laughs> yes! Okay. 
there were other things in the image they explained too. I was too busy laughing and couldn't hear them, but they were like apparently way, made it way more bad. <laughs> and then after they're done explaining what the image was, they asked for the sharpies back. <laughs> and the and there was a room that was like like front to back filled. <laughs> and they were like, you can just <laughs> you can give you can send us the money on like Facebook Pay or some shit. <laughs> like, like, it was like really fucking disorganized. It was perfect. <laughs> ah shit. Fell out of bands. And I think they were sponsored by like local businesses because they kept fucking saying after like almost every song they said, if you wanna fuck us, meet us at the Panera Bread on Nicolet and whatever. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, and, they, and they said oh, it's like only bad bitches though, is what it was. Like don't come unless you're a bad bitch. <laughs> no good bitches. Unacceptable. It was super fucking funny. And like it was it was an incredible show. And they couldn't get all the celebrities that they have in their songs in there, so they just had Muppet versions of them. <laughs> and they did look j like just like them. And they would like run around the stage with them and make them do stuff they wouldn't normally fucking do. And it was just really funny. <laughs> like, the only person that didn't have a Muppet was uh, Michael Bolton. Okay. He didn't have a Muppet, but they had him like call in from where he was. <laughs> like, I imagine like a Skype just call. like. <laughs> I, I, I imagine him just, like, belting out his lines with all the passion he would through just, like, his phone. <laughs> yeah, because, like, it was, it was, like, really poor quality, shitty internet, like, like, version of him talking to the audience on a big screen because he couldn't <laughs> be there in person. And then they played all of his songs, like, kind of in this, like, mashup compilation that just kind of, like, mixed into each other, which is really cool. And it was... Fucking... It was dope as shit. <laughs> nice. That, that sounds like a riot. I just wish I could remember the jokes that fucking comedian told. Cause like, I just saying comedian's funny is like nothing. It's like a non-conversation. Yeah. But, like, but like, he was really funny. Like, That's also what I say. It is. I heard you say it. I heard you. Man, I was fucking, I was fucking around trying to make like 3D characters the other day, and I fucking programmed like crashed and then corrupted the fucking like save file. Oh fuck. So I lost a character. And I'm gonna tell you what his name is. His name's Craniac. Oh. He's like a guy with a big ass head and a big eyeball. <laughs> <laughs> And I made him, and he was beautiful. He was wearing like booty shorts and had like hair, like hairy legs, and like really small, dwarfed up arms, big hands. <laughs> and he was beautiful, but he's gone forever. No one can ever experience Greeniac. It's a quarter after eleven, really and James trophy. needs to go. Oh okay. no! Keep it real, dog. All right, good night. Dude. Sleep super good. Oh, I'm Try not gonna... to come too hard. No, to dude. The no, I want you to get to sleep. So I'm gonna like, come really hard and then get a really I mean, perfect sleep back. I'm not gonna tell you what to do. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna come as hard as I possibly can. Yeah. So. Okay. Nothing's better than a good nap after a hard come, dude.